Here's a video guide showing you how to get this live dashboard, which is a really handy way for you to automatically track the difference between say what you made in August 2021 versus August 2022 for a given account. Now, this can be done across any month that you would like. So you can start it to set up in to be in March. You can also set it to be in October. It's completely up to you. The whole point of this dashboard is that it should be really easy for you to track the difference between, say, what you made in April 2021 versus April 2022 um, across those years. Now, it works both for the PL and for the balance sheet. Uh, and it works exactly the same way, which is really handy. Now, to set this up for yourself, go and make a copy of the sheet. And of course, if you've seen our other videos, you will need to install Liveflow first to be able to get live data into your spreadsheet and from your QuickBooks account. So go ahead and install Liveflow first. Once you've done that, setting this up is really, really easy. All you need to do is go to extensions, Liveflow and get started and then replace the company that we've set up here with the demo data uh, with your own data. And the way to do that is very simple. Head over to manage reports, click on each of the reports, Pick the first one, change this to be with your company. Click on update and refresh, and then just wait a few seconds. You'll now see that things in the PL by um, year to date here is gonna now start to change. There we go. And next up, let's do the same. Let's head over to the balance sheet and then let's do exactly the same here. Let's change it to our other company. And in your case, you'll change it to your company. Click on update and refresh and just wait a few seconds. All right, there we go. And now you can minimize live flow or first make sure that you set up auto refresh reports to be every hour. This means that your reports will now automatically update on an hourly basis. You can minimize this and bring it over here. And now you can go back to your uh, to your report here, uh, to your live dashboard. And now what you can do, you can change the starting point of it to say, okay, we would like to start in July, set it up there. And now because we are in July currently, we don't have any data for July, 2022. We do have it for 2021, of course. Um, but this is completely up to you. You can set it to be whenever you would like uh, for that to start. And basically what has happened here under the hood is that you have now updated this uh, PNL report to be your own data. You've updated the balance sheet to be your own data. And now those two reports are feeding into the live dashboard that you have right here. You can now go ahead if you don't want to look at these two and, and just hide them so you won't see them. And that's completely up to you. Over here in the how to use guide, you can of course also just delete the guide if you don't want to look at it here. But yeah, this is it. If you have any issues or need any personal help, then you can always get in touch with us and we would be more than happy to assist wherever we can.